Hi guys, this time I'm going to make something special for your ear. First, I clean my ear, pin it back. I don't want to have any products in my hair. And I take some prosate and a Q tip, and I will glue my ear down, or half of it. Just a small amount of glue. Then I have to wait till it dries clear. And then I will roll it and hold it. Is it holding? And no, not yet. So I have to hold it a bit longer. Eventually it will hold. Like so. Then I take my sin wax. It's a big jar, I know. I use it a lot. Then I take my spatula and a huge blob of Vaseline and pop it on my hand so I have easy access to the Vaseline while I'm working on my ear. I take a small amount of wax and warm it in between my fingers so it's nice and easy to work with. I roll a little sausage and I pop it on the tip of my ear. I will blend it with a spatula and my fingers. It has to look like someone chewed on it on my ear. So on my earlobe. Then I make a little skin flap. I zoom in for you guys so you can see better what I'm doing. Now I'm rough it up with my spatula so it looks more chewed on. Like so. And my ear turns redder and redder. Then I take my setting powder from Meron. I pop a bit into the lid. And I will apply it with a fluffy brush so the shine is removed. And I wasn't too happy with some spots so I go back with the spatula and buff it up some more. Yeah, now I'm happy with it. Okay, then I take my Encore Blood Palette. It's my favorite, as you know. And I will use a small Meron brush to put down the base. And I will build it up in multiple layers of of red. Mm, okay. There we go. It starts to look like something. It takes a bit of time, but it will be it will be worth it. I'm doing lots of things. Okay, then I take a sponge. I sponge it down a bit. To make it more cohesive. Then I take my skin color palette. And apply it with a sponge on the little wax pieces. I should have used a, a brush, but... It's a learning moment for me there, so next time I will use a brush. And I go back in with my blood palette and the black from it, and I will make the wounds appear to be deeper. And then I use some bruise red and bruise purple to make it a bit more rougher. And I take my blood gel old from makeup. It looks like something you put on a sandwich, but I would not eat this product. I take my spatula and wiggle it into the deeper spots of the wound. Just move it around a bit. It gives more structure to the wound. My hand is in front of it. I'm sorry. It happens sometimes. 
just a tiny bit into the hairline. Okay. A tiny little nick there needs a bit of blood gel. It's always harder to do SFX um, looks onto yourself than on someone else. Because you have to wiggle and move sometimes in strange and awkward positions to apply things. That starts to look really gruesome. Thinking about my next step. Okay, it's going to be blood. And I use Mold Life Aged Blood. I use a little dripper. So I can work more precise. I just love this blood. It's got a nice consistency and a beautiful color. Very realistic. And that's what we want. I use a very old uh, brush to apply it with. And a stipple sponge. And move it around the ear. Oh gosh, it looks really chewed on, does it? It's starting to look really cool. Oh, wait. Um, of course, you should poops, pop some poop. Pop some blood on your hands because, you know, when something like that happens, you will you will touch your ear to see what the hell is going on. And then we're done. Or, no, still not done. I want to put a bit more drama in it. So I take some runny blood from Vermilion, the ox blood. I let it drizzle down my ear. And again, this is also one of my favorite bloods. See how nice it runs? It's nice and dramatic. Look. And there you have it. A very chewed on ear. Ah, missed a spot. There you go. Plop. Oh, it looks painful. Okay, guys, that was it. See you next time.